What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Libra, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for sign of Libra. This can resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general click the reading for sign of Libra. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, type this to five. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And thanks for all my new subscribers. It helps support a single mom and two kids. And, yeah, I don't have full custody of my kids right now. I have visitation rights. But still love my kids. And I'm still a single mom and two kids. So, I uh, love you guys. Just saying. Spirit message is your appetite. I'll try again. I got retreat and transmutation. Um, I did get one channel message as I was meditating on your energy for um, October 2022, Libra. And I heard um, um, child custody battle is what I heard. That's all I heard. Child custody battle. So you plug it in how it resonates. Energies can reverse. So that could be you going through a child custody battle or somebody you're connected to going through a child custody battle. But some kind of child custody battle energy, whether you know somebody going through a child custody battle or they're about to start going through a child custody battle or what have you, or, um, yeah, or what have you, what have you, you know, you plug it in, how it resonates, some kind of child custody battle energy, however you plug into that situation, okay? Don't be forcing anything that doesn't fit. Number 49 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 49, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 49. We have moth and hyena. So for some, I feel you could be dealing with another air sign or a fire sign. If you are, they could have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, Hammer, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates, it applies for you, Libra. Job change soon. And someone's about to be put on leave. Mandatory leave for investigation. Job change soon and someone's about to be put on mandatory leave for invest for an investigation. So some kind of job change. That could be you about the job change, whether it's free willing, free willing or some kind of termination. Um, or what have you, what have you. Somebody's about uh, um about the job change, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, whether it's forced or free willing, you plug it in how it resonates. And somebody's about to be put on, um, I heard a leave. Um, so I don't know if it sounds like it's forced leave for a, for an investigation. I don't know if it's paid or not paid. Whoever, I mean, wh whoever they work for and how that resonates, it doesn't sound like they're going to get terminated, but there's about to be some kind of investigation. They're about to be put on leave. So, um, at least they're not going to be just wrongfully terminated. I'll tell you that. So, that's good. Or terminated, you know. I feel they could work for some kind of government, like city or state or federal, possibly. That could be you or somebody you're connected to. Lion, August, and December. Grace. A Libra is about to witness a superhuman feat. Only the grace of God got this person through. For one, it's already happened. For one, it's about to happen. One superhuman feat already happened. Okay, so there's two superhuman feats in here. So like one's already happened, past energy. One is upcoming, has not happened yet, futuristic energy. You plug it in, how it resonates, Libra. Some kind of superhuman feat energy. One's already happened in the universe, it sounds like. I heard only by the grace of God this person got through and made it out and survived or something. Sounds like horrific happened to them or could have potentially horrific happened to them and they like they escaped out with their life or escaped out safe or something it's already happened 
like grace of God energy. Like nobody thought it would happen, but it happened. One, you're, it sounds like you're about to witness it or you're about to hear about it or something. So one's already happened and one is upcoming in the universe. Uh, futuristic energy. About to escape out. Um, nobody, grace of God energy. Nobody thought that it would happen like this or what have you, what have you. But it's about to happen. Grace of God energy. One has already happened. One is upcoming. Wow. So I think these are situations that people never thought it would happen this way. But it's about to happen this way for this one. This one has already happened. Um, you have to plug these situations into your own life, how it resonates. Grace of God energy. If you believe in God. Now, you know, you don't have to believe in God watching this channel. But um, I do. But, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay? But super supernatural situations and circumstances here, basically, is what I'm feeling. One's already occurred. One is about to. For some, I feel you could witness this or hear about it or... What have you, what have you? A child, a teenage child is about to stand up in a huge way and report their father for child abuse. It is about to shock the hell out of you. For one, you're going to be very proud of this person. Very proud of them. For one, it's going to go badly for you because you've been covering up the abuse for years. Know this. Oh, Lord. Well, congratulations to whatever teenage child. This is a teenage femme child. A teenage femme child. It's a teenage femme child about to do this. Teenage femme child is about to stand up and report I heard her father. So it could be a biological father or a foster father or somebody that Calls himself father to her or how that resonates um, for child abuse. She is about to stand up and report him for child abuse. That takes some big balls. Um, that's beautiful, though. Time to act. This teenage femme child is about to act. She's smart enough and enough mental capabilities to know that obviously he's abusing her or he did abuse her. And she's about to stand up for herself um, and maybe others and report this child abuse. That is beautiful. I love this child, whoever this is. This is beautiful. I love this. For one, I heard you're going to be very proud of her. One, you're going to be, you're going to be very proud of her. For one, you're going to be in deep shit, basically, because I heard you've been helping cover up the abuse for a long time. So only you know if you've been helping cover up abuse of a teenage child, femme child, or not, Libra. But for one, you're going to be very proud of her. So I'm proud of her, and I don't know who it is. It's the teenage feminine child. It hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. She's about to act. Um, wow. This is beautiful. Grace of God energy. She's about to report this soon. And it's about to go fast. She's about to report this soon and it's about to go fast is what I heard. Grace of God. This child is about to stand up against I heard her father and about to report child abuse. Um, I heard it's about to go fast. It's Somebody's about to take action. They're not going to try to cover it up. They're not going to um, sweep it under the rug. They are going to take action. Thank God that people are actually taking action on reports of child abuse and not trying to cover this shit up. For so long, I was pulling in people covering up child abuse. So it's good to see that they're actually going to take this child's report seriously um, and do something about it. Um, it is not going to go well for him. It is not going to go well for him. So for one, you're going to be very proud of her, I heard. Um, I'm proud of her. I don't know who she is. It's a femme teenage child. For one, you're, I heard you're about to be in deep shit because you have been helping cover up the abuse. So only you know your situation and story leave her. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. Grace of God, this teenage child is about to stand up. I love this teen femme teenage child. Could be my kiddo. I love it. I love it. I love it. Moth. The one where you're about to be investigated, she will mention your name down the line. Know this. The one that's about to be investigated, the one that's been helping cover up this abuse of this femme teenage child, I heard no, she will mention your name down the line. 
no this. So I think that's how you're about to get investigated. Um, or maybe you're already being investigated. I don't know. But whoever you are, you're covered, You're in some dark shit. I'll tell you that. You are very low vibrational and you're in some dark shit. Whoever you are, you're high vibrational. And I heard you're going to be proud of her. So you have to plug yourself into whatever situation you are. You're high vibrational or low vibrational. But this person, whoever you are, it's not good to live in the dark, ma'am or sir. It's not good to live in the dark. And it's about to backfire on your ass. It's about to backfire in a huge way. It's about to backfire in a huge way. Yeah, that's a good example of karma coming around and biting somebody in the ass. You should have covered up child abuse. Now, whoever this femme child, teenage child is to you, I heard you've been covering up for years, sir or ma'am. Can't even call you a sir or ma'am. Because um, I don't respect people like that. And that's just the truth. But one of you guys is going to be very proud of her. Congratulations. Um, I'm proud of her, and I don't know who she is. Moth? A surprise phone call from a Gemini soon. For one, you're going to take it. For one, you're going to let it go to voicemail. For one, you're going to call back. For one, you're not. And someone's phone is tapped, and that is very significant. Okay. So someone's phone is tapped, and that is significant. So your phone could be tapped, or somebody you're connected to's phone could be tapped, however that resonates. Somebody's phone's tapped. But here's the thing. If your phone is tapped, and you're not doing anything criminal or illegal, so what? Your phone's tapped. Somebody can stalk the fuck away. Now, it's not healthy to stalk anybody, but if your phone's tapping, and it's tapped, and somebody's stalking you, um, because that's the only reason somebody would tap somebody's phone, unless they were under, like, some kind of investigation or something, but... However that resonates, my point is, if somebody's phone's tapped and they're not doing anything criminal or illegal, so what it's tapped? And that's just the truth. That's the way I look at it. Hell, if somebody's got my phone tapped, whatever, man. I'm not doing anything wrong. That's the way I look at that. But some people don't. But somebody's phone's tapped. Whether it's your, your phone or somebody else's phone. And I heard a significant phone call from a Gemini is about to become very significant in one of you guys' lives. So masculine or fifth Gemini. They can have Gemini in any aspects of their charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, heaven, Jupiter charts. I heard one, you're going to take the phone call. One, you're not. One, it's going to go to voicemail. One, you're going to call them back. One, you're not. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Libra. It's your Gemini energy. Mod. Hyena. A very angry Sagittarius is about to become very significant in your life. And a very angry Leo. And a very angry Aries. Oh, all the fire signs. So you plug it in how it resonates. A, very, a lot of angry fire signs. Very angry Sag, very angry Leo, and a very angry Aries. Is about to become very significant in your life, Libra. For one, it's your mother. For one, it's your sister. For one, it's your cousin. For one, it's a, a boss. For one, it is someone that works at a medical in a medical conglomerate. The truth has been exposed. It's going to continue to be exposed. Oh, you plug it in how it resonates. So, for one, it's your mother. For one, it's your sister. For one, it's a cousin. Um, 
for one, it is a uh, uh, boss at a medical conglomerate. For one, it is your boss. So you have to plug this Aries, Leo, or Sag in how they resonate and apply in your own life. Um, for one, it's your ex-husband. And for one, it's your ex-husband. And one, it's your, ex your ex-husband. So you have to plug this um, Aries, Leo, or Sag into your own particular life and situation, how they resonate, Libra. For one, it's your mother. For one, it's your sister. For one, it is a cousin, masculine or femme cousin. For one, it is um, a boss at a medical conglomerate, medical, um, like a manager, supervisor, CEO, what have you, what have you, at a medical conglomerate. One, it is your boss. For one, it is your ex-husband. Uh, I heard the truth's been exposed. It's going to continue to be exposed. So they're coming at you angry and some kind of angry energy. Um, the hyena energy does not play around. So angry energy, these fire signs, Aries Leo Sag. They have Aries Leo or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, Menhaven, and Jupiter charts. How that resonates? Damn. Lion, time to act. And I feel these Aries Leo or Sages can be masculine or femme. There was a lot of them. For one, it's a lawyer. And for one, it's a lawyer. Holy good God. And for one, it's a lawyer. Um, Aries Leo or Sag lawyer. You plug it in, how it resonates, uh, Libra. Time to act. About to take action on tax evasion. One, you're investigating it. For one, it's an illegal business. You were drug into. For one, it was your illegal business. Oh my God. About to take ta action on tax evasion. For one, you're investigating this tax evasion. For one... You uh, were drug, in, drug into some kind of illegal business. However, that resonates and applies. For one, you were the head or one of the heads of the illegal business. So action on some kind of tax evasion, whether you were drug into the illegal bu business. And it sounds like you didn't know it was an illegal business or you it was under some other kind of false pretense or pretenses. You headed the illegal business or you were investigating the illegal business regarding tax evasion. A lot of action. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. August. August of 2022 has become very significant for a lot of Libras. True colors are coming out. They're going to continue to come out. August of 2022 is becoming significant for many Libras. Um, true colors are coming out. They're going to continue to come out. So August of 2022. If this resonates and applies for you, uh, Libra. Uh, some kind of true color energy is coming out. Now, that could be positive or negative. Um, you have to plug yourself in what spectrum you're on. Are you high vibrational? Are you low vibrational? Are you showing true colors? Is somebody else showing true colors? Some kind of true color energy. But August of 2022 has become significant of some kind of true color energy coming out, whether you're on the positive side of that or the negative side of that. Whether you're making people's lives miserable or you're helping promote positive positivity in the universe how that resonates and applies libra only you know what you're doing in the universe not anybody else okay december christmas of 2022 is not going to go the way you think it's going to go for one for one you're going to have a very large christmas this year you wasn't able the years before. Well, that's beautiful. So two different Christmas situations, December of 2022, upcoming in the universe. For one, I heard you're going to have a very large Christmas this year. Um, we're in October. So this is December, Christmas of 2022. We're fast forwarding two year, two months. I heard you wasn't able to have a large Christmas. All the, It sounds like the years previous, maybe you were below poverty line or impoverished or in poverty. You didn't have the fund or fundage or um, resource or resources to have a large Christmas, but I heard you're going to be able to this year. Congratulations, whoever that's for. 
I hope I get my kids back so I can have a nice Christmas with them, but we'll see. Um, whoever that's for. I love that kind of energy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Changing people's lives. I think you might have got a new job or you've done a started a business or business, but I think the income's come up or it's about to come up and you're about to really, really treat yourself and the ones you love at Christmas. And that's beautiful. For one, I heard Christmas is not going to go the way you think it's going to go. It is actually going to go complete opposite. Very imbalanced here and it's about to be balanced. Okay. So for one of you, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. For one of you guys, there's some kind of imbalance in the universe. And I heard it's going to go actually complete opposite of the way you think it's going to go. Something's very imbalanced in the universe. And through many series of chain events upcoming in the universe, it's about to be balanced out. So whatever imbalance in the universe that is, you think it's going to go one way, it's going to go the other. This one, it sounds like you guys didn't have much growing up or the years previous or sounds like resource or resources or money or money or what have you what have, or both and it's coming up or it's about to come up and you're gonna have a beautiful christmas i love this energy congratulations whoever that's for A home is almost completed. And someone is finally about to receive their stolen money. Finally, after years. For one, it's you. For one, it's somebody you're, uh, of your past. Okay, a home is uh, nearing completion. So, congratulations. Uh, maybe you're a home builder. Maybe you are uh, a, a jack of all trades. Maybe you're a renovator. Uh, maybe you're a home decorator. Somehow a home is almost finished. However, that resonates and applies to Libra. Whether you're directly involved in that or indirectly involved in that, you plug it in how it resonates or you know somebody involved in that. And for one of you guys, um, um, you're about to receive stolen money you should have received years ago, for one. And for one, it's somebody in your past about to receive stolen money they should have received years ago. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates, however that resonates and applies. And for one, you're about to have to give back stolen money. And for one, you're about to have to give back stolen money. And for one, an illegal business is about to become very significant in your life. And for one, you're about to have to give back stolen money. And for one, an illegal business is about to become very significant in your life. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates, Libra, okay? An Aquarius is about to get a, a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. A huge wake-up call. A Libra really needs to hear this. Really needs to hear it. For one, you're going to help this Aquarius get a huge wake-up call. Okay, so there's two of you. One, you're going to help the Aquarius get a huge wake-up call. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. One, you're going to help the Aquarius get a huge wake-up call. So positivity here with this Aquarius. One, the Aquarius is about to give you a huge wake-up call, and it sounds like it's going to be oppositional energy here um, to you. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But it sounds like, one, you're about to collaborate with this Aquarius to get a huge wake-up call or help them get a huge wake-up call or something, Libra. Sounds like you're positively connected to this Aquarius or you want to work with them or you want to help them get a huge wake-up call or give them clarity or something. For one, it sounds like it's some kind of oppositional energy. Sounds like you're not working with the Aquarius. They're getting the wake-up call behind the scenes of you so for some for whoever's in this situation i feel you might have lied to them is what i feel but only you know your situation and story not anybody else libra okay i'm closing it i love you guys i hope this helped and namaste